The sour mesh process really gives us consistency from batch to batch to batch. What that, and how that comes about, what we do is after we distill the bourbon, what's left over from that, we run it across the screen. Well, the solids and the more thick liquid will run across and stay on top of the screen. The thin stillage will then drop through that screen and it's in sour of nature, but it's not a rancid sour, it's a very sweet sour. We take that back and put it into each mash cook because not only does it give us that consistency and then there is a certain amount of acidity to it, but however there's a lot of good nutrients and that's what gives that yeast real good driving growth and gives that fermentation, makes that fermentation very healthy so we can maintain that consistent flavor profile every single fermenter, every single batch. Thank you. Um, the other question is, what's special about Maker's Mark? What is it in the mash bill that makes uh, Maker's Mark different and why? Well, we do a lot of things that are different, but one of the things that really sets Maker's Mark apart is the fact that we use soft red winter wheat. And not only do we use soft red winter wheat, but we also use a high percentage of malted barley. By using that soft red winter wheat, just like its name implies, it's very soft in, in nature and character, but however, it still has good mouthful, has a good even coating that uh, go, coats your palate, and the flavors as it's being uh, distilled really doesn't lend itself mostly to uh, driving a big, bold spiciness uh, like rye. It stays very soft, so therefore our yeast when they're fermenting and producing their flavors, our characters from the yeast really start to carry over and that's what helps by using that soft red winter wheat and the malted, high percentage of malted barley.